Some people say that they have the world in the palm of their hand. Really? Think again, because there are some places they'll never see. Our spectacular planet has so many wonders to explore. Some places that are just too dangerous, too protected or maybe too special to visit. Even for the most seasoned voyager. These places have been completely cut off from the outside world. So before making a list, keep in mind, some places around the world will never welcome you with an open heart. Whether it's an island infested with venomous snakes or the Pope's secret archives, the destinations on our list are closed off from the public. Or maybe these are places packed with bones, scrawny cats and the paranormal. So take a deep breath, because today we are moving towards 10 mysterious places that you should never visit in your life. At number 10, we have Island of the Dolls, Mexico. A trip to an island off the coast of Mexico sounds great, but not if it's packed with dead-looking dolls. Isla de las Muñecas, as it's called in Spanish, is south of Mexico City in the Xochimilco channels. And while the surrounding area is well populated, the island is largely deserted, save for hundreds of dolls hanging in the trees. The area has thousands of people, but this small island is home to hundreds of terrifying dolls. They are severed limbs, decapitated heads and blank eyes adorn trees. It is said that a girl was found drowned in mysterious circumstances many years ago on this island and that the dolls are possessed by her spirit. Some witnesses claim they had heard the dolls whispering to each other. That's really scary. So moving to number 9, we have Las Cucas, France. Famous for its Paleolithic cave paintings, found in a complex of caves in the Dordogne region of southwestern France because of their exceptional quality, size, sophistication and antiquity. According to archaeologists, the artwork, which primarily depicts large animals, is probably more than 17,500 years old. The cave contains nearly 2,000 figures which include cattle, bison, felines, a bird, a bear, a rhinoceros and a human. Among the most famous images are four huge black bulls, or aurochs, in the Hall of the Bulls. Once, the cave were open to the public, but were later closed with the humidity, carbon dioxide and other containments that visitors produced began to damage the wall art. These days, the caves are protected by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, and almost no one is allowed inside, except a security guard who visits once a week. On number 8, we have another creepy place, Snake Island, Brazil. Do you want to spend a night under the trees where you have hundreds of snakes hanging on the trees, some on your left and some on your right, and maybe some on your chest? About 25 miles off the coast of Brazil, there's an island where no local would ever dare tread. The mysterious island is known as Ilha de Queimada Grande, and it's in fact so dangerous to set foot there that Brazil has made it illegal for anyone to visit. The danger on the island comes in the form of the Golden Lance Head Snakes, one of the deadliest serpents in the world. It is estimated that there are between 5,000 snakes on the island. If you are allowed onto the island by the authorities, only a few members of the Brazilian Navy and a handful of herpetologists can boast that pleasure. Next on number 7 is a strange town named Nagoro, Japan. The streets in the tiny village of Nagoro, Japan are far from bustling. In fact, things are remarkably still. Then, through the corner of your eye, you see a figure, then a group of figures huddled together. But these aren't people, they're actually life-size dolls. And they make up most of Nagoro's population. Resident Tsukimi Ayano creates them in memory of the deceased. And they bear a striking resemblance to their deceased human counterparts, wearing their clothes and all. Which adds to the creepy factor as they silently stare at you from all angles as you move about town. This eerie village in the Lia Valley has just 30 residents and over 400 large dolls. I bet you will feel very scared here. At number 6, we have Vatican's Secret Archives. A visit to the secret archives of the Vatican surely tops the bucket list for any history buffs. But if you're a tourist, journalist, student or even amateur historian, you're out of luck. Only carefully accredited scholars can get their hands on unique documents like the 1493 Papal Bull that split the New World between Spain and Portugal, or a 1530 petition asking for the annulment of King Henry VIII's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. 
The archives have been estimated to span over 52 miles of shelving and consists of more than 35,000 items. Other than a very small staff who take care of the archives, access is strictly limited to only qualified scholars from very selected higher education and research institutions, but after the long procedure. So you may not get the chance to visit this place ever. Next on number 5 is really dangerous island named North Sentinel Island. The death of an American missionary on North Sentinel Island has put the remote island in the Bay of Bengal, officially off-limits to most outsiders for decades. Back in the news and raised questions about the future of the Sentinelese, this is a small island off the main shipping routes surrounded by a shallow reef with no natural harbors, partly to protective laws enforced by the Indian government and partly to their own fierce defense of their home and their privacy. The island's hunter-gatherer residents who have resisted outside contact for most of their known history, but they're not entirely uncontacted. Over the last 200 years, outsiders have visited the island several times, and it often ended badly for both sides. It is indeed a very dangerous place to go. Next on number 4 is Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, West Virginia. Deep in the heart of West Virginia, surrounded by sweeping grounds and green laws, there is a beautiful building with a tall steeple in the center. It looks like an expensive boarding school or an attractively weathered manor house. This asylum is one of the most allegedly haunted areas in the West Virginia, containing a lot of secrets from the years of the Civil War up towards the closing in 1994. During the working years, the area was filled with different mentally ill patients, used as a residence for the mentally ill as far back as the mid-1800s. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum is open from March through November for tours, truly capitalizing on Halloween's energy. The hospital earned National Historic Landmark status in 1990, but closed down in 1994, and rumored ghosts have haunted the premises ever since. At number 3, we have the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China. Buried deep under a hill in central China, surrounded by an underground moat of poisonous mercury, lies an entombed emperor who has been undisturbed for more than two millennia. This famous historical site is the tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China's first emperor, who died in 210 BC. The tomb was discovered in 1974, and since then, over 2,000 statues have been excavated. Scientists believe that there might be more than 6,000 more statues in the central tomb, which is now a restricted area. The Chinese government might never allow the excavation of the emperor's tomb, choosing to respect the ancient burial rites. At number 2, we have another scary place, Area 51, United States. Our list wouldn't be complete without mentioning the famous Area 51, a secret military base in southern Nevada. America might be the land of the free, but even the U.S. has some places that are totally off-limits and are forbidden to visitors. Until 2013, this site wasn't even officially acknowledged when the CIA released documents that confirmed its existence. Nobody knows what exactly happens in this facility. Area 51 is a highly classified United States Air Force facility, according to some news. But that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists from deciding that the base is focused on communicating with aliens. A lot of talk regarding this area makes this a mysterious place that you should never visit. Finally, on top of our list is Okotesawa Fittish Market, Togo. The Okotesawa Fittish Market is located in the district of Okotesawa in Lome, the capital of Togo. Owned by the Beninese, the Okotesawa Fittish Market is the biggest voodoo market in the world. This is a vast bazaar for charms, magic items, fittishes and goods that are used in a voodoo ritual. Superstition by far overrules animal rights here. The severed crocodile heads, chimpanzee hands, cobras and bones are actually all fittishes or talismans. Objects infused with the power of the divine that is used to heal and protect. Powders and potions that are either ingested or applied to the body with the hopes of curing one's ailments or to gain potency, strength or influence. I'm warning you, this is not the place for faint-hearted people. So dear viewers, if you got really scared and enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel District 10 TV for more interesting videos. See you on our next video!